the evil blonde Red Baron Murders. A descendant of Manfred von Richthofen, the German pilot known as the Red Baron, was sentenced to almost 40 years in jail for bludgeoning her parents to death. Suzanne Louise von Richthofen, born November 3, 1983, is a Brazilian who murdered her own parents on October 31, 2002, with the help from her boyfriend and his brother. She was put on trial in Sao Paulo in July 2006 and was sentenced to 40 years imprisonment. Born in Sao Paulo, Brazil, Suzanne is the daughter of the German engineer Manfred Albert von Richthofen and his wife Mauricia von Richthofen, a Brazilian of Lebanese descent. Her father was working as a director of the state company for highway development in Sao Paulo. Her mother was a psychiatrist. Suzanne has a younger brother, Andreas Albert von Richthofen, born on April 26, 1987. Her father claimed to be a grandnephew of Manfred von Richthofen, the German war pilot of World War I, but this is still disputed. The German von Richthofen family denies any link to them. After graduating from a German high school, Suzanne studied law at the Pontifica Universidad Católica. She was described as happy but a little shy. Suzanne was known to have a good relationship with her parents and brother. In the summer of 1999, she started practicing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and that's where she got to know Daniel Cravinios de Paul El Silva, who became her boyfriend and an accomplice in the murder. The declared net worth of the Richthofen clan is over $5.5 million. However, prosecutors suspect that two anonymous accounts in Swiss banks containing at least 10 million euros were opened by Suzanne's father in her name when she turned 18 back in November 2001. The money is thought to be the result of corruption at Dursa. Desenvolvimento Rodrigo S.A., a company in which Manfred von Richthofen was the engineer responsible for the construction of the Mario Covas Beltway. This project originally budgeted to cost around 340 million US dollars, in fact ran to over US 1 billion by the time it was complete. If the accounts are in her name, nothing prevents Suzanne from gaining access to the money after serving her sentence. Murder. In the late hours of October 31st, 2002, Suzanne von Richthofen, who had planned the murder of her parents for months, checked if they were already asleep, then disconnected the alarm system of the estate and opened the door to her 21-year-old boyfriend, Daniel Cravinios, and his brother, 26-year-old Christian Cravinios, who had been waiting outside. The Cravinios brothers went upstairs to the parents' bedroom and hit them with iron bars before strangling them, with Suzanne waiting in the living room downstairs. After the murder was accomplished, the three youngsters simulated a break-in by pocketing money they found, spreading and creating a mess in the house. Then, they left Suzanne and Daniel, went to a motel, while Christian went to a fast food restaurant. Then, early in the morning, Suzanne and Daniel picked up the little brother, Andreas, who was then aged 15, at an internet cafe and went home where they discovered the crime, called the police at once and told them their story. The investigating officers, however, doubted that the crime was a burglary and suspected that the perpetrators were known to the victims. They soon began to question the children and the employees of the Richthofen family. What made them suspicious? was not only the crime scene, with the alarm system switched off, and the papers spread very regularly, as if by design, but also Suzanne's extraordinarily cold behaviour. She was seen in the house's swimming pool with Daniel the day after the murder, and celebrated her 19th birthday with friends just hours after the parents' burial. The investigators focused their attention on Suzanne and her boyfriend, and began shadowing them. The clue for the arrest came with Christian Cravinios, who had bought a motorcycle a few days later and paid cash in $100 bills. A few days later, on November the 9th, 2002, he was arrested, as well as his brother, Suzanne, who soon confessed to the murder. Suzanne was released from prison in May 2005 when the Supreme Court of Justice granted her habeas corpus. She waited until her trial under house arrest. 
On June the 5th, 2006, Suzanne Frain von Richthofen, along with Corvinios, was put on trial in San Paolo for homicidio qualificado, the equivalent of first degree murder under Brazilian law. The trial was delayed until it finally started on July the 17th. On trial, Suzanne blamed Daniel Corvinios for everything, while the Corvinios brothers claimed that they acted on her wishes. Prosecutor Roberto Tradelli, however, called Suzanne the mastermind of the crime. Roberto called for 50 years imprisonment for each of the three defendants. Suzanne was described as a personification of the evil blonde. On July the 22nd, 2006, Suzanne was sentenced to 40 years in prison for the crime. Daniel Cravinios got the same sentence, and his brother Christian was sentenced to 38 years for conspiracy. As of April 2007, she is in custody in a woman's prison outside Sao Paulo. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments and feedback below.